Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Catan VR Overview. It's essentially gonna be the first actual board game that's gonna come to Quest. For some reason, I feel like the synergy between VR and board games is actually a very great concept because you don't need to manage your pieces on the table or just like, you know, carry around the game or eventually losing some cards and stuff and then not be able to continue playing the full game. I feel like VR is gonna be very convenient in this kind of genre and as well as some people like me <laughs> have no real patience or are just a bit too lazy to like you know move your characters on the board and then just picking up the card a lot of movement that in VR it's automatically mitigated I'm not a very huge board game player the only thing I remember playing was like Monopoly back in the day I've played some Dungeons and Dragons but that's pretty much RPG it's not like a board game per se and like Magic the Gathering that, but that's pretty much my experience with cards altogether apparently Catan VR is very well known the base idea is that you have a hexagonal board with characters and you want to dominate certain environments by building roads, cities, kind of like settler style of gameplay. By doing that you get yourself something called victory points and by gathering like 10 points altogether you get yourself a victory. Apparently you get points by various actions. I've looked up some tutorial to kind of see what's up with that to have some kind of backbone if the game won't explain it well but it seems kind of easy to pick up. It's basically just putting certain pieces on center tiles and building. That's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy to see like genre like this kind of take off because it's essentially a very good base for multiplayer settings right board games are created for that for social interactions and crushing your opponents so i feel like it's essentially gonna be a testament if vr altogether can be a good social platform to be honest as well as katan seems to be all over the place crossplay like you can play with psvr gear quest rift every platform this game released is gonna be playable and it seems like the biggest crossplay we've had so far this is by no means a new title but it seems to be like the highest quality we were getting because of the quest to upgrade with 90 hertz with higher resolution everything seems to be on higher end when releasing here today i don't really have time nowadays to like sit down and play a board game but maybe the experience is gonna be way more convenient in vr we'll have to see well i hope this gameplay part won't be like half an hour <laughs> video tutorial video and quick reference here well yeah oh it's a video welcome to katan vr the island of Catan lies before you. I thought it's gonna be more interactive in terms of tutorial, more explained to me personally, not a video, because I already watched the video on the YouTube, so I'll just start a game. But I guess I'm gonna go with AI for now. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with playing other people. <laughs> Please select a board game for your game. Yeah, I don't know, default. So what do we have here? Place the settlement on the board. Starting city, basically. So let's place maybe here. And then the road here. Okay, so they're placing their houses there. I kind of have a vague idea of the gameplay. There's so much happening. <laughs> I guess because it is AI, I'm not very entirely sure what is happening. But we're basically placing the settlements. That's what I see here. Because I want to dose both resources. And let's dice. Eight. So I'm not getting anything. <laughs> now can we build anything? No, no roads, no developments. Oh well. Basically, to, for the road, I need wood, but I don't need rock, so I can't drag here. Anyone giving me something? <laughs> this feels sad to play like with AI. Okay, I'm gonna do like online match because this seems a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, hi. This is my first game. I, I just got this on the Quest just released. Same here. Yep. With two so cans, we're actually just doing a, uh, a play test to make sure it works right. Uh huh. So, you guys are assisting on that. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> well, that's my first time playing as well, but I watched one tutorial because I had no idea what's Catan, like, at all. Yeah, but I have a, a vague idea game. now. <laughs> the tutorial showed how to play Catan, but it didn't show how to actually control the mechanics of this specific game all that much. Yeah, I thought it is gonna be like more interactive, but it, there was just a video, so... It's easy to understand though. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, I choose, okay. Uh-huh. Um, so the green uh, spots are more ideal of where you'd want to put your stuff? Oh, okay, so they have suggested locations as well, that's interesting. Exactly. Oh, okay. The red numbers are numbers you. that will roll more often. Alright, I'll just roll. Oh, 
think the music is awfully loud. Is there yeah, really a... voice chat is slower than the music, which is weird. Huh? You can just mute it inside of the uh, magic table button you on can... the bottom left of the menu. There's a pause button. The... It, it pauses the music. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Why is this not working? Oh, press the trigger. I'm trying. Oh, okay. No, don't press it. <laughs> oh, I press it though. oh, the pause music. Thank you. That's <laughs> so much better. And then if you can do anything, you do something. If not, end your turn on the bottom left of the board. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't even know what I rolled. Does it tell me? Oh, you two. get resources for it if you had it. It's basically the number you roll, and you have a road like next to it. Then you get it. Yeah, I rolled a two. How do I build? Okay, there's a building. There we go. Oh, nice. As well as we then know what uh, the resources other players have. I think it's not like uh, in your face visible. But at least when we roll numbers, we know what resources kind of everyone gets. But like not all together. Oh, you get multiplayer resources when you put a city? Yeah, it doubles your resources. Ah, okay. So, wait. So if I have a road on the same tile as you, but I don't have a settlement, then I don't get the resource. Exactly. You need the settlement for resources. You just won, didn't you? Ah, uh, so that was my fail. Okay, now I see. <laughs> I think I, I think I win with this guy. So basically, okay, this. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. So black sticky roads Good just game, connect right? things, but they don't bring resources. Okay. I didn't understand that in the beginning. Yeah, well, the settlements, the resources, and it gives you for the ones it's touching. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, Dang. Is there game, some guys. sort of skill-based matchmaking or like Elo system for this game, or is it just like random? No. It's random. People join lobbies. Oh. You can also. Okay. Maybe in the future is gonna be like you know. <laughs> oh, okay. So high end. So maybe it's gonna have a matchmaking. <laughs> Look at them, guys. I'm gonna open up another lobby. So. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. It was good playing with you. See ya. Bye bye. That was fun. That's it's very two vibes only. <laughs> And as well as uh, it depends uh, with who you actually play. I mean, I love the simplicity and I feel like everyone, even people who are not into board games at all, could very well get into it. I would say I very really like this. Even though I don't play board games at all, by learning more about the mechanics and more advanced strategies, I feel like I can get into this game for sure. So I, I actually really love this.